Republicans have come up with a whole bunch of ugly names for people who need a little help putting food on the table. Welfare queens, takers, the 47 percent. And now House Republicans are poised to pass a bill that will cut more than $20 billion from food stamp programs and take away benefits from 2 million Americans. We've seen it over and over again. Republicans putting politics over people. The role of citizens, of Christians, of humanity is to take care of each other. Washington to steal money from those in the country and give it to others in the country. It appears to me that the goal of this administration is to expand the roles of people that are on SNAP benefits. Another purpose for that, though, is just to simply expand the dependency class. Why don't we just pay for your clothes, pay for your shoes, pay for your housing? These Republicans are shameless. They have no idea what it's like. Uh, and to wonder where your next meal is coming from. Why don't they try to live on the average food stamp benefit of just $31.50 a week? That's exactly what 26 House Democrats are doing starting today. With the SNAP food stamp challenge, it's not easy to ha that they have to make, and they have to make some hard choices. One lawmaker drove the point home last night by unpacking his groceries on the floor of the U.S. House of Representatives. It's going to be a challenge. I certainly will not be eating three meals a day. I will eat in the morning, and then I will eat in the evening. Three meals a day. That hardly seems like too much to ask in the greatest and most powerful nation on earth. Joining me now is that lawmaker you just saw, Congressman Hank Johnson from Georgia and Richard Wolf, executive editor of MSNBC.com. Thank you both for being here tonight. Thanks, Reverend. Thank you, Reverend. Congressman, uh, do you think Republicans would pass these food stamp cuts if they had to live on $31.50 a week? No, I really don't. And the problem is that uh, we have so many millionaires over there on the other side of the aisle that they will never have to worry about uh, where their next meal is coming from or trying to stretch uh, dollars so that they can eat uh, for the uh, period of, uh, uh, of time that they have the finances to, uh, to pay for. You know, Richard, when the Congress says that, let me give you the facts, the numbers that uh, uh, food stamp recipients versus lawmakers. Weekly food stamps benefit $31.50, as I said, $31.50 a week. The medium net worth of a member of Congress is $966,000 a year. You're talking about almost a million dollars a year medium income. Uh, um, I mean, you're talking about n a net worth here, not a year, net worth of, of about a million dollars medium income for members of Congress, and you're talking about these are the people that are going to vote uh, to cut $31.50 for people that receive food stamps. This is outrageous. You can earn a lot less than $900,000 a year to understand that $31 a week is not enough to feed anyone, really. And the, there's not a dependency culture that comes out of $31 a week. Right. We're talking about millions of hungry people in the world's richest country. And, you know, it wasn't so long ago there was a Republican who said you shouldn't balance the budget on the backs of the poor. That Republican was George W. Bush when he was running for president as a compassionate conservative. You know, hunger is not a partisan issue, and what they're doing now is trying to turn it into a partisan issue, and that's not the Republican Party of even George W. Bush. Congressman Johnson, not only is it not only a partisan issue, look at who it impacts. 45% of the people that receive it are children, 8.5% elderly, 20% disabled. These are people that are the most vulnerable, children, seniors, disabled. And Reverend Al, many of the people who receive food stamps are uh, employed. They're working as much as they can. Uh, but they're working for minimum, minimum wage, they can't make ends meet, and they need the food stamps to help. And um, it's just, so we've got working poor, we've got poor 
but regardless of what your status, $31.50 a week uh, adds up to about a dollar and fifty cents a meal per mm. day. And it's just um, to take $20 million, $20 billion, excuse me, away from this program, which serves as a safety net for 47 million Americans, is just callous. It's, it's, um, I, especially when we are looking at spending $3 billion on a East Coast Missile Defense Shield for a threat that does not yet exist Three and that the Defense dollars. Department does not want. It's just, I mean, if we can find that $3 billion, we certainly can find how we can keep uh, the $20.5 20, $20 billion from going away. Let me, let me ask you this, Congressman. You uh, unpacked your, your bags last night, uh, very little food, showing that dramatically what you can do with $31.50 a week. Explain to uh, the audience what you were able to buy. Well, for I focused on breakfast first. I bought uh, two packs of bacon because I could get two packs for one. And that's going to basically be my meat uh, for the day. I did bring, uh, I did buy some hot dogs also, uh, maybe about eight of those hot dogs. Then I've got some waffles in the morning, some syrup in the morning, some oatmeal in the evenings, and uh, also some, some uh, bananas and uh, some tea. I splurged on, uh, on something uh, wow. to comfort me, some tea. But I, and also the Roman noodles, I got a, a eight pack of those. And so I have a little bit of variety, but I'm going to have to do my best to stretch, uh, stretch this food. And I can tell you, I'm already uh, feeling weak today from just and having... you just started um, today? Just, this, just started this morning. Richard, election, know I'm a, election I know time I'm is good. coming. Yeah, I, 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 I got to tell you, like the congressman made the choices many people would make, but what he's talking about, apart from the bananas and the oatmeal, he's talking about a lot of unhealthy food there, and this is the paradox what we got in this country: oh, yeah. a lot of hungry people who are also eating bad food, and oh, you can be obese and hungry at the same time, and that is a sad case in America today. And and I have to go, but I also wanted that not only do we show the most vulnerable, the makeup of people in this country on food stamps: 35 percent white. 23% black, 15% Hispanic, because we seem to color this all one way, and the facts speak for themselves. That's the graph of the racial breakdown of food stamp recipients. Uh, from the Department of Agriculture, this uh, racial breakdown was, was given. Congressman Johnson, uh, thank you for being with us, and thank you for your dramatic example with your other colleagues. Richard Wolf, thanks for your time tonight. Thank you. And Congressman, good luck with that food stamp challenge this week. I'm going to need it, Reverend. All right. Ahead, wait until you see how we caught Marco Rubio after denying he knew the congressman who was talking about rape. He'll be reaching for the water again after this. And I've got a very exciting announcement to make about this show coming up. Stay right here.